I found that leaders were some of the most suffering people I'd ever met. <clears throat> um, stressed out, uh, their marriages were compromised, uh, their kids were a mess, their, um, uh, their health was incredibly compromised. I mean, people really suffering from uh, a lot of psychological, emotional, spiritual distress, even if they had a ton of money. You know, this spiritual, psychological, social distress was uh, in incredible. And I thought, there has to be a better way mm. to be a leader. There has to be a better way to, to do leadership. And how do we bring these people together to really support each other in that process and have a more conscious conversation? How do we keep each other awake in the process of everything that you have to face as a leader, the opportunities, the challenges, the distractions, mm -hmm. um, what pulls us as human beings, greed, um, you know, all those things that, that we are as human beings. How do we keep each other conscious if we're going to be doing this as leaders in the world? So that was it, was to create a peer group of, of people that could really um, support each other in that mm -hmm. journey. And we do personal development work. We do a very deep dive into really understanding, like what you were talking about, understanding yourself psychologically, emotionally, um, energetically. Mm -hmm. What does that even mean? I mean, most people never even think of that. They understand there's a psychological <laughs> self, but there's an energetic self. What's that? You know, and... Um, and it really, uh, well, the way we talk about it is that everyone is on a journey, right? We're all on a journey, but there's two journeys that are going on. One is the outer journey, and one is the inner journey. So there's an outer game that we're playing, which is about, you know, how do we grow our business, and how do we um, meet these goals, and how do we... Um, increase profit and how to, you know, all those things, that's like the outer game and all of our strategies for doing that and our tactics. But there's an inner game that's going on as well. And if you are not, as a leader, if you are not attuned to your inner game, you're going to struggle very deeply with your outer game because those have to be congruent. Mm -hmm. Those have to be congruent.